The San Diego Rescue Mission is preparing for its annual Thanksgiving meal during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's also receiving a major gift from a bank. And joining us now to talk more about the mission and the giveaway and how it's keeping everybody safe as well is the CEO of the San Diego Rescue Mission, Donnie D. Donnie, how are you? I'm doing really well. Always great to be with you guys. Great to see you as well. Tell us about the big event. It's tomorrow from 1 to 4. How are the preparations going? Yeah, well, thanks for asking. Uh, it's been uh, I've been talking about game day all day today because tomorrow is the opportunity that we have every year to feed those experiencing homelessness. We've been doing this event for 20 years, and we really think it's one of the best things that we do. It's not a core program, but it is an opportunity for us to feed uh, those who aren't in our programs. We open up our doors. Uh, people start lining up around 8, 9 in the morning, and we expect to feed close to 1,000 people tomorrow. Uh, we've been making preparations all week on the food side, but obviously with COVID, we've had a lot of other arrangements we've had to make too, and we feel like we're ready. A thousand people? How much food is that? That's a lot of food. It's about uh, <laughs> 200 turkeys. There's uh, thousands of pounds of potatoes and, and, and broccoli, and I think they had uh, 200 holiday pies that we'll be cutting and serving up tomorrow. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's an incredible feat. That's fantastic. So how are you doing it safely this year during the pandemic? Well, we've uh, had to take a little bit longer this year just to plan this. We've been working with uh, public health. Uh, they reviewed our plan. Uh, we've uh, set up markers out on the sidewalk six feet apart. Uh, we'll take temperature of every one of our guests that come tomorrow. We'll take their name uh, and a phone number if they have a phone. Uh, we're giving them their holiday meal this year in a to-go box. Uh, they have the opportunity to sit in our parking facility, which we're actually calling an open air dining room for uh, about four hours. And it's actually just our parking facility. We'll be on the first floor with a uh, hundred or so seats in there and they can take their to go box and sit in there and eat, or they can just take it and go someplace else and eat. But we expect to feed about a thousand people tomorrow and feel like we have the right protocols in place so that our volunteers, our students, our staff, and then all of our guests tomorrow are in a safe place. And you've got more than 100 volunteers, I believe, right? We have 125 volunteers that have signed up uh, to help for this. That was the max for us as we put together our plan with uh, public health. They felt like that was the right number with the number of people that we were serving. We also have about 50 staff. So it's a couple hundred people tomorrow that'll be spread out throughout First and Elm Street, throughout our building. Uh, working to make this a great day for people experiencing homelessness. Boy, it sounds like it's going to be a great day. Uh, tell us about this $10,000 gift and how that helps. Yeah, I've been in this role for about three years, and I continue to be amazed at the number of people in our community that support the work that we do. Uh, people who know the mission know that we don't take any government funding, and so uh, it's because of uh, organizations like Mission Fed. Uh, it's because of uh, corporations, individuals, churches, foundations that uh, we're able to do this. And Mission Fed had the idea that... They would uh, offer a matching grant of uh, $30,000 to benefit three organizations, us, the Food Bank, and Salvation Army. And so anybody that goes onto their website, their members, their viewers, uh, their patrons have the opportunity to give, and Mission Fed will donate uh, and match that. And that, that ends up being a $10,000 donation for us, which helps feed about 1,000 people tomorrow. And I understand you're also handing out backpacks, blankets, socks, basic necessities in addition to the meal. Uh, and I guess everybody's invited, right? I mean, if you need a meal, come on down to uh, San Diego Rescue Mission tomorrow from uh, 1 to 4. That's right. We've been promoting out in the community uh, downtown for the last couple of weeks. We've been handing out flyers. And so anybody and everybody is welcome to come and get a great meal at the San Diego Rescue Mission. Donnie D. It's a great name. Donnie, good to see you. Thanks for all Thanks, the hard sir. work you're doing. Appreciate that.